I used to kick around with a tennis ball in the school playground. I think if you can master a small ball early on, it's easier to deal with the full-size ball used in the professional game. Hey! These lads and lasses have grown up using mostly a size 2 ball. It's filled with foam, which means it's heavier and, as you can see on the right, it hardly bounces. I think players aged between 11 and 14 should practice with the size 4 ball, and that's the one my class will be using. It's important to work on your ball skills and be comfortable with the ball at your feet. After all, you're no use to anyone if you can't play. Here are a few exercises to help you improve those silky skills. Okay, first of all we're going to start with a bit of jogging on the ball. So, off we go. Pass it from side to side. Off you go. And when you get a bit more confident you can start going a bit faster and moving forwards and backwards. The next thing we're doing is using the inside and outside of the same foot, keeping your, the opposite leg, using yourself for balance. So, like that. Okay, try to do with both feet. Off you go. You get good at it, you can move forwards and the best ones you can do it backwards as well. Well done, Kieran. Right, the next exercise is rolling the ball from one foot to the other, keeping your body upright, okay? So the best ones can get faster and faster. Okay, so off we go. Well done, Kieran. One step further on that one is just using one foot to roll it, next to stop it, roll it and stop it again, okay? So off we go. Well done, try to keep your head up as you're doing it, so you don't bump into anyone again. Well done. Okay, the next one's the roll and then the step over. So you roll it with one leg, step over it with the other, and then bring it back, and then do it again. 